Hello everyone, my name is Dan Boston and I have a great passion for growing organic food and sustainability. Today is February 5th, 2024. About 12 years ago, I published a brief YouTube video called La Maison du Soleil or The Sun House about the idea of a house with an indoor garden attached to it. A few years later, I built an experimental model of that indoor garden with grapevines attached to our house in Montreal, Canada, which completely changed our lifestyle. I presented the main construction aspects of that sun terrace, as we called it, in a YouTube video which received quite a lot of comments from people worldwide. Then about a year and a half ago, we decided to start construction from scratch of our dream house with the terrace and indoor garden. In fact, it so happened that we actually started building two such houses with terrace, but with completely different designs and structures. We built these two houses in Europe, in the beautiful country of Romania, in climate zone 7, 8, and we decided to grow some Mediterranean fruits, which has been a dream for us for many years. This video is dedicated to the first of these two houses, which we like to call Model M and it presents its main features, the main construction steps, and then a few considerations about the construction cost and how we manage to keep it as low as possible. The main features of this house are the following. First of all, as you notice, this house has a very simple design, which has a few advantages as it simplifies its construction, it reduces the labor and materials cost, and it also reduces the duration of the construction process. The main focus of this house concept is on functionality. The house has two front door entrances, but practically most of the in and out of the house is being done through the terrace, which is both pleasant and practical, particularly during the cold, rainy or snowy days. The two floors of the house are completely separate and the stairs are located in the garden, which eliminates the waste of floor space taken by the stairs at the ground and first floor, it increases the soundproofing between the two floors, and it reduces the heated space of the house. The ground floor is an open space with a living room, dining room, a bathroom, the kitchen with a pantry and the entrance hall. Between the kitchen and the living room we installed a large peninsula where we enjoy eating and watching TV in wintertime. That is also the favorite gathering place of all our friends with whom we enjoy great moments of quality time together. The first floor has also a very simple layout with a central corridor from which we have direct access to each bedroom, family room, bathroom and the dressing room. The two bedrooms have large wall-to-wall -wall closets and so has the family room. In front of the garden, we built a patio and we placed a ping-pong table, which became a favorite sport activity for many of us. The core of the house is made of three concrete columns and the main concrete beam. The rest of the house structure is made of timber, which has been treated against insects and fungus. The house has very good insulation, with 4-inch expanded polystyrene on the outside and sprayed polyurethane foam on the inside. And then there is the terrace, with a small indoor garden, which offers us multiple benefits. First and foremost, it creates a unique resting and relaxing space, surrounded by beautiful plants and fruit trees, which we enjoy immensely. This is the place where we have breakfast, lunch and supper almost every day in spring, summer and fall. And this is where we also enjoy great moments together with all our friends who are coming to visit us. The terrace has no heating other than the sun and it is located on the east side of the house, which allows direct sunshine in the morning and first half of the day, but avoids the strong afternoon heat in the middle of summer. There are also large windows at the highest level of both side walls and also at the lower level of the front wall which create natural ventilation based on a chimney effect without any fan being necessary. In this garden we planted directly in the ground a beautiful olive tree, a delicious pomegranate tree, several young citrus trees, a couple of young mango tree, a couple of grapevines for table grapes 
and a few other warm climate plants. The indoor environment of this garden creates ideal conditions for growing fruits 100% organic. Right now we are in the middle of the first winter in this house and as a precaution we covered our most cold sensitive plants with a frost cloth and we are observing and testing if this method would be enough to protect these plants during the coldest nights without any heating. The additional benefit of this terrace attached to the house is the weather protection that it offers to one of the four walls of the house. Now here are some dimensions of the house. The footprint of this house is square with 9 meters or approximately 30 feet in length by 9 meters or 30 feet in width. The indoor garden has 6 meters or 20 feet in length and 9 meters or 30 feet in width. The maximum height is about 7 meters or 23 feet. The heating of the house is being done with electric baseboard. Now I selected a series of images that illustrate the main construction steps of this house, which are pretty much self-explanatory and don't need any comments. The exterior work took about 14 weeks to substantial completion. Here are the main construction steps of this phase.
These have been the main construction steps for the exterior work. The interior work took also about 14 weeks to substantial completion. Here are the main construction steps of this phase. And now a few considerations about the construction cost of this house and how we manage to keep this cost as low as possible. As you can imagine, the cost of building a house in different parts of the world would vary considerably according to the cost of materials and labor in each respective region. Therefore, it would be totally irrelevant to reference a certain building cost of this house here in Romania, for instance. Now, the good news is the fact that the cost of building this house was less than building a similar size traditional house in this same region. Now, how we managed to keep this construction cost as low as possible? I would say we did that thanks to three main things. The first one I have already mentioned. We chose a very simple design for this house. In other words, we practically eliminated any fancy details that would cost money without contributing to functionality. Instead, we focused on features that respond to our main needs and priorities, as I mentioned in the first part of this video. The second aspect is related to the cost of labor and materials. On one hand, we are very fortunate to find a small team of very well-skilled and audacious handymen who responded enthusiastically to the challenge of building a house 
with an out-of-the-box concept as they had never built before and they accepted to do that for a fairly reasonable cost. We are also blessed to find a very professional and meticulous electrician and a finely skillful, talented and patient furniture maker who built us the kitchen and most of the furniture in the house. Our cooperation with these brave men was so nice creative and fulfilling for all of us that we ended up becoming very good friends. On the other hand, I took it upon myself to search for, negotiate and order all the materials needed for building this house, which also contributed to reducing the overall construction cost. The third element I would call the project coordination. We discussed with our team all the construction details specific to this house project. We made a diagram of the main construction steps and the list of all the materials needed. Then, well in advance of each construction step, I ordered all the materials and made sure they will arrive in time and in the right quantities. Well, this is pretty much how we built our dream house. If we were to build this type of house again, I don't think we would change much. But with everything that we all learn in this endeavor, we will surely be able to reduce the construction time and cost by a few bucks. That is the immense benefit of learning through experience. Thank you for watching.